If you don't know me, my name's Madison and I do have a great video for you guys today. I decided I'm going to make a wedding cake at home, something I've never done before. I have made a few birthday cakes, so I have a little bit of cake decorating experience, but not much at all, nothing like a wedding cake. So it's not gonna be anything crazy, just a simple, easy wedding cake. Fingers crossed, it goes smoothly. In no way is this a how to make a wedding cake because I don't know, but I thought it would be fun to just wing it and just see, go in with no plan at all. So I did already make my cakes in advance and I did freeze them. I just decided to do some funfetti, something simple, something easy. And to be completely honest, I used cake mix because no one's gonna be eating this except for me. Uh, but my idea is I'm gonna have these layers on the bottom some six inches on top of that, and then I made some little small hmm, three or four inch ones. I also made my Swiss meringue buttercream in advance, and boy did this stuff give me a hard time. I don't know what it was, I could not get the consistency right, so I popped it in the fridge for a little bit, and I think that helped. Um, like I said, this isn't really a how-to video, but if you guys would like to see me making cakes or recipes or anything, just let me know. So I got all my layers out, I got my buttercream, Right now I'm gonna start from the bottom and I guess work my way up. So I'm gonna put my smaller ones to the side. And I was completely out of cake boards. So what I did was I had a really big one. So I just cut them down. So they're not perfect, but again, no one's gonna really be eating this stuff. So I'm not too worried about it. I am gonna pull my hair back for this part. Just cause I really don't want icing on my hair start with, I'm going to put some icing down on my cake board, just so the cake doesn't stick. And these are frozen, so I'm hoping they'll be a little easier to work with. I've never made a wedding cake, but I'm sure that making sure the levels are easy is really important so I'm gonna try and be extra careful make sure that all the layers are even. technically if I was making this for somebody I would trim the bottoms that way when you're eating it you're not getting a bite of like the bottom of the cake every time but like I said I'm not making this for anybody, so I'm just gonna flip it upside down. I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who found their way to my channel. This is my first video, so I was really nervous about doing it, but it's something I've wanted to do for a really long time. And I know there's a lot going on with the world right now, but I hope this channel can be somewhere you can come to just get your mind off of things and get inspired. And if your family has been affected by everything going on, just know that I'm thinking about you. This is already the biggest cake I've ever made and it's only four layers. I think my eight inch four layers is done. I'm pretty happy with it. I really do like the naked cake look. Um, but since it's a fun steady cake, I'm not sure I like the colors peeking through, so I'm gonna put another layer on it after it's Time for my six inch layers. Again, I had to do the exact same thing because I did not have any cake boards and hashtag quarantine. invest in a very nice apron that way I'm not wasting so many paper towels. Okay, so this is perfect by no means yet again, but it's just gonna have to do. I'm gonna put a non slip thing on the bottom. Just so the cake doesn't go anywhere. So I think 
I have some ideas for the cake. I found this green ribbon, like thick ribbon, and some sugar pearls. So I was thinking I could put this around the edges of the cake. Uh, it's a really pretty, like light green. I think this color is really in right now. Very natural look. And then sugar pearls. Uh, maybe put those like along the bottom, like gradually going up. I think that'll be cute. I really want some clean edges. So I'm really gonna take some time to try and get the edges really clean, especially since I'm not gonna be doing any decoration on them besides the pearls. I did, however, find some like sunflowers. I think this would go really cute with the green. I also have some pearl strips. So we'll just play it by ear and see what happens. So here I'm just applying the second layer of icing onto my 8 inch cake. By no means do I get this as perfect and smooth as I would have liked, but I do end up pretty happy with it and I got at least one side looking really good. So for my picture, I can at least say I got it smooth. All right, now on to icing the six inch cake. Same thing as the eight inch. I'm just gonna try and get it as smooth as possible, even though, I, again, I don't get it as smooth as I would have liked. I was still pretty happy with it. Y'all, this small cake was so hard to ice. I was getting so frustrated with it. So I just ended up doing like a little spurly pattern on it just to make things a little easier. Put it down. I started to assemble my cake by putting some small plastic rods in it and wrapping my ribbon around. I didn't realize the moisture from the cake was going to bend and crinkle the ribbon, but I still think it looked really good. I applied my third layer and things were really starting to come together, so I found my flowers and decided I would just apply them down the front of the cake. Don't worry, I'll turn it around. Here it is. So I wrapped my pearl around the bottom layer just to give it a little something elegant. And then I got some of those sugar pearls that I showed you and I just kind of laid them all across the cake just in a, a cute little way. And I really wish I had some more flowers that I could have filled up the cake a little more, especially at the bottom and in between. But I still think it's really cute, really cute and rustic. And I think this would be the perfect cake if you just wanted something really small and easy and nothing too crazy. I'm really glad I did this because I've always told myself that I'm gonna do my own wedding cake. I'm not gonna pay someone several hundred dollars to do something that I could probably do myself. And honestly, this is a cake I could see at my wedding. Uh, probably not sunflowers, maybe some fresher flowers, but just something really easy, simple, and small. This cake here could probably feed about 40 people, which honestly, I barely even know 40 people, so this would be plenty for my wedding, but Paul, if you're watching this. But thank you guys for watching, and I hope you subscribe to my channel, and I hope you had fun with me today. Bye.